Hello Java aspirants, this is Gaurav, an expert Java trainer. As per high demand from many people, I am commencing the Java discussion from scratch. Let's keep Java Programming Layout Manager topic on the table today for discussion. What is Layout Manager? A Layout Manager is a class that is useful to arrange components in a particular manner in a frame or container. And Layout Manager is an interface that is implemented by all the classes of Layout Managers. There are following classes that represent the Layout Manager are Border Layout, Flow Layout, Grid Layout, Grid Bag Layout, Card Layout, Box Layout, Group Layout, Crawl Panel Layout, Spring Layout, etc. First, we will discuss about Border Layout. What is Border Layout? The border layout is used to arrange the component in five regions. You can see in the picture North, East, West, South and Center. Each region area may contain one component only. It is the default layout of frame or windows. It provides five constants for each region. For North region it is North, for South, South, then East, West and Center. Constructors are First is default border layout that creates a border layout but with no gaps between the components. Another one is J border layout which is having two parameters. This constructor creates a border layout with the given horizontal and vertical gaps between the components. So these are the constructors. If we are adding the component to the container, the direction should be specified. As mentioned here, C dot add parameter a north and component or we can write C dot add component comma border layout dot north. Here C is the container. So this is all about border layout. Next is flow layout. You can see the picture. The flow layout is used to arrange the components in a line one after the another like button one, button two in this way. When a line is filled with the component, they are automatically placed in the next line. It is the default layout of applet or panels. Field of flow layout class are left, right, center, leading, trailing. And the constructors for this layout are first is default flow layout. This creates a flow layout with center alignment and a default 5 unit horizontal and vertical gap. Another constructor is flow layout which is having the parameter align. This creates a flow layout with the given alignment and a default 5 unit horizontal and vertical gap. And another constructor is flow layout which is having parameter align and horizontal and vertical gaps. This creates a flow layout with the given alignment and given horizontal and vertical gap. Next is grid layout. Grid layout is useful to divide the container into a two dimensional grid from that contains several rows and columns. The container is divided into equal size rectangles and one component is displayed in each rectangle. The constructors for this layout is first is by default grid layout. This creates a grid layout with one column per component in a row. Another way is grid layout which is having row and column are the parameter. This creates a grid layout with the given rows and columns but no gaps between the components. And the third constructor is grid layout which is having row, column and horizontal and vertical gap. This creates a grid layout with the given rows and columns along with given horizontal and vertical gap. Next is grid bag layout. Grid bag layout manager are arrange the components in rows and columns. This layout is more flexible as compared to other layouts. To create a grid bag layout, we can create an object to grid bag layout class as grid bag layout obj equal new grid bag layout. When positioning the component by using grid bag layout, it is necessary to apply some constraints or conditions on the components regarding their position, size and space in or around the components etc. To apply some constraints on the components, we should first create an object to the grid back constraint class as grid back constraints equal new grid back constraints. This will create constraints of the component with default values. This is all about grid back layout. Another one is card layout. The card layout class manages the component in such a manner that only one component is visible at a time. It treats each component as a card. That is why it is known as card layout. Constructor for this layouts are first is default constructor card layout. This creates a card layout with zero horizontal and vertical gaps. 
Another one is card layout, which is having horizontal and vertical gap. This creates a card layout with a given horizontal and vertical gap. After that, while adding component to the container, we can use add method as c dot add and parameter is card name and component. And the commonly used method for this layout are public void next parameter container parent is used to flip to the next card of the given container. Another method is previous which is having container parent parameter is used to flip to the previous card of the given container. Third one is first parameter container parent is used to flip to the first card of the given container. Fourth one is last parameter container parent is used to flip to the last card of the given container and the last one is show container parent and string name are the parameter is used to flip to the specified card and the given name. So next is box layout. The box layout is used to arrange the component either horizontal or vertically. Box layout class is found in JavaX.Swing package and the constructor for this layout is box layout which is having container C and int X parameter. This creates a box layout that arranges the components with the given axis. Here all the components which are inside a J panel object are arranged by using axis orientation. These axis orientations are X axis that components are arranged along X axis. Y axis components are arranged along Y axis, line axis components are arranged like lines in a text and page axis in this components are arranged like lines in several pages. Box layout is implemented with the help of box class defined in a JavaX.Swing package. We can imagine the box class object as an invisible area where the components can be placed by using box layout. Box class provides basically two types of boxes, horizontal box and vertical box. So this is all about layout manager. Thank you for watching my video. Please keep watching my more videos to learn Java in a easy way. You can send me an email. For any query to my email ID, go for elearning at gmail.com. Thank you.